we have challenged you to guess the Bay State's largest city, land-wise. Now let's tighten the focus a bit, the Commonwealth's tiniest town. Anywhere you go, we hear the sound of the ocean, we get the breezes, it's one road in and one road out. Indeed, the name of this town is a Native American word for almost an island. It's actually a tombolo, I believe which is a uh, piece of land attached to the mainland by a sandbar. Emily Potts and Emily Boyle have agreed to show us around their little tombolo, one square mile of handsome homes ringed by coves, cliffs, and beaches. It's just a dream. There's three beaches we can go to within five minutes. They bring us to the 40 Steps Beach, which, like so much these days, has felt inflationary pressures. Well, there used to be 40. I think there's more like 56 in my last count. Now, to be clear, the smallest town by size is not the same as the smallest by population, though both share killer ocean views. Can you guess the two? Where, one might ask, is our funniest town? Now, Outsiders like to make sport of some of our more unusual town names. But we know they're named after distinguished dukes and royal governors. That doesn't mean there aren't plenty of worthy contenders for funniest. Take tiny Mount Washington in the farthest corner of the state. People ask us where the Cog Railway is and we tell them it's about four hours north. <laughs> The better known Mount Washington is, of course, in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the highest peak in New England. Thing is, there is no Mount Washington in this Mount Washington, making the name itself a bit of a tall tale. You're still looking for that mountain. There is no mountain Washington at Mount Washington. But when it comes to funny town names, it's hard to deny the twisted, dark genius of whoever named this lonesome outpost high on a Berkshire mountain, Florida. The founding fathers were joking when they named this town because winters are brutal. Back to our quiz. Here's another one to try on for size. What is our largest town? I think it's without a doubt the biggest town in Massachusetts, land-wise. I think it's one of the largest, if not the largest, east of the Mississippi River. Well, that Mississippi business may be stretching it a bit, but no points off for local pride. This town does in fact boast more square miles than any other in the state. What's more, that acreage is loaded, says Frank Mann. We're part of the second largest aquifer uh, in, in Massachusetts. We have 35 miles of coastline. We have 430 ponds. All tremendous assets, but topping them all, a unique geological feature known to very few. We consider it the second largest of three remaining large intact tracts of coastal pine barrens in the world. Coastal Pine Barrens, unique eco-regions marked by sandy soil and stunted forests made up of pitch pine and scrub oak. Labeled barrens because their nutrient-poor soil was no good for farming, the land was long dismissed as useless. But today, pine barrens are valued for their biodiversity and water-purifying soil. And it's taken probably 400 years to appreciate what this really has to offer. I mean, I don't, they didn't really appreciate it environmentally. That's why Mann and a group of like-minded citizens have formed the Southeastern Massachusetts Pine Barrens Alliance. Farmers may not want the Pine Barrens, but developers sure do. We're fighting now tooth and nail for every little parcel we can find. We want to make sure it's here for another 400 years or more. And if that means having to drive around the Barrens to get across this, the biggest and hint, hint, the oldest town in the Commonwealth, so be it. Yes, if you're a parent and has a kid that has to go to hockey, you know, it's a half an hour to the rink, you know. It's not around the corner. 
Mm. And that patch of Pine Barrens might be better known if it wasn't in one of the most historical towns mm. in the United States. Okay, good, good mm. clue there. And here's some more. Uh, back to the Tombolo, mm -hmm. the place that's almost an island. Um, it is one of only four communities in the Commonwealth mm -hmm. out of the 351 that touches by land only one other community. It's like a game of Clue here all mm. of a sudden. That was, you, that was well done.